Hey beautiful ones, Fran here, back with another video. So you guys know the drill. Before we go any further, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, thank you for being here. So, I want to talk to you today about your endurance. I get a lot of people who email me about feeling like they want to give up, like they're just tired, like it's taking too long. I just, I want to give up. I just, I'm tired. And I just want to share a story with you guys. Years and years and years ago when I was first kind of starting my spiritual walk and I had started going to spiritualist churches, I had a lady, a prophet, um, stand up and tell me that God wanted me to be like Ruth, right? And so I thought, Ruth, like why would God want me to be like Ruth, you know? So she said, read the book Ruth and then we'll talk about it. So I read the book of Ruth and what I got was that Ruth was, you know, her husband had died and she wanted a new husband, but she was going to stay with the mother-in-law. So I didn't really understand what that was all about, right? I didn't get it. And so I went back to her and she said, okay, you need to ask for discernment around this book, the book of Ruth. And it took a lot of time because every time somebody was talking about Ruth, they were talking about Boaz and they were talking about being like Ruth and waiting for your man and da 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 and all this, right? Like it, it all was all about a man, right? It was all about a man. And I thought, well, that's not my situation. I'm not looking for a man. I'm not interested in trying to, to you know, start a new relationship at this time. I'm just, I don't get it. And I remember one day feeling like so stressed, right? Like we, we do, like I was so stressed and I was just like, okay, I need some answers here. I'm not getting any answers. And I remember going to my Bible and I opened my Bible up and it took me to the book of Ruth, right? And it took me to the passage where Ruth clung to her mother-in-law and basically was saying in my message Bible, I'm not leaving you no matter what. I'm sticking by you. I'm going to stay with you. I am going to go where you go. I'm going to do what you tell me. I am going to just be persistent in being with you. And I know that it will work out basically, right? Whoa. Whoa, right? Like, that was the first time that interpretation of that particular book came to me. It was different. It was deeper than just getting yourself prepared for a man. It was deeper than being ready. It was deeper than enduring to wait for the perfect guy. It was about clinging to God. It was about sticking with God no matter what. Knowing that you know that you know that he's going to work it out. No matter what it looks like. No matter what it feels like. No matter what it sounds like. Enduring. A lot of us give up five minutes before our miracle. Five minutes before we're getting ready to get the thing, the situation, the experience that we want, we give up. We're like, I can't do this. I, I just can't do it. I, I can't do that. We never want to continue to go through it. We always want what's on the other side of it. And I can talk about that because I was that girl. I didn't want to go through it. I just wanted to get to it. Like, just, just give it to me. Just like, with, I mean, just, I don't, I don't want to have to go through all this stuff. Just can I have it? That's getting everything dropped into your lap. It's not building your faith. It's not building your confidence in the process. This thing, this, 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 whether you call it the race you're running, whether you call it your lifestyle, the things that you're trying to create, it is a practice. You've heard me say that, but it's a lifestyle. It's not the race is given to the swift. Ruth 
when her husband died, you know, her mother-in-law was like, wait, wait, what? even if I was to have a, a son today, he wouldn't be old enough, right? Her other daughter-in-law hugged her and said, see ya, I'm out. I'm going to go find me a husband. Ruth said, I'm going where you go. I'll do what you tell me. I'm going to stick by you, right? That's what God wanted from me. A lot of times we miss a message because we are so busy listening to the normal interpretation. We don't ask for the discernment for ourselves, right? We don't say, well, God, what does this mean for me? Or what are you trying to tell me? We have to stand and we have to listen and we have to be active in our growth, right? But you cannot just decide to close the book, turn the page, shut it down, forget about it because it didn't happen yesterday. If you know that you know and you are aligned and you are grounded and you are determined to see the promises of God, whatever those are to you, whatever they mean to you, they will show up. This whole manifestation thing, this whole thing that we got going on, this manifestation, the law of attraction, the secret, that it is nothing more than principles from the Bible in modern day terms. Everything that you say a Reverend Ike was teaching, everything that a, um, 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 a Joel Osteen teaches, all the prosperity teachers, new thought teachers, everything that they are teaching now, it's just repeated teachings from the word. So whether you call the word your sword, whether you call the word the Bible another book, whether you call the Bible stories, whatever the case may be, whatever and wherever your faith level is with God, that's your thing. It's your relationship. It's very personal. Know this. There is a divine plan for your life. There's a divine plan for your life. Sometimes we get off the road because life throws us a curve or, you know, something happens and we get fed up, we get pissed off. There's a plan, right? And if you cling to what you know and you have faith in the process, the plan will unfold marvelously. Do you think for one minute that Ruth thought she was going to go with her mother-in-law and meet another man? She thought that they were going to starve to death because the mother-in-law was like, I don't even have food. We have nothing. Right? But the mother-in-law was obedient. Right? She listened. She asked for discernment. God, what do you want me to do? How do you want me to do it? Every day I tell God, these are my plans. These are my intentions. These are Fran's intentions. This is what Fran wants to do. Sometimes God says, but we're going to do it this way. Or it's going to happen that way. And I leave myself open, right, to the movement. I allow. God, I'm here. I'm available and I'm open for opportunities. Whatever those opportunities may look like and however they may come, I'm ready for them. You have to endure. You cannot give up. You cannot give up. You have to keep going. My mother used to always tell me, as long as you are here, you got a chance. If you're not here, you don't have a chance. Keep going. Your blessing is right on the other side. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.